So here's a piece of understanding that we have not defined this clearly before. Your question really asks for it in a strong way. You're going to like this. So you understand the concept of the grid sort of makes sense that I've got this vibrational basis. And when I step into my full power, everything goes better. So here I am feeling good. And I'm thinking about something that's way out there. Maybe the birth of babies that haven't even been conceived yet or a relationship. And I don't haven't even met the person yet or uh, a business that I will have someday that I have not even established yet or prepared for yet something way out there in my future. Well, the further out there it is, the more it behooves you to be general about it. Because when you try to be specific about something that you don't have information about, you just get frustrated. It makes you feel lacking. So the more general you are, such as, oh, it's going to be great. I'm going to live happily ever after. I'm so looking forward to things falling into place. I know I'll know it when I see it. I don't have to figure it out right now. Things always work out for me. I'll know what to do when the time is right. I'll be guided every step along the way. Those general statements allow your energy to be clear. And all that is necessary for you to get everything that's in your vortex or to achieve a grid that allows everything in your vortex to just flow in, in the perfect timing and sequence. All that's required for that is that you keep a smooth energy pattern going on. That's the power of meditation. Meditation takes you to the most general of pure vibration. When you meditate, you stop thought. When you stop thought, you stop resistance. When there's no resistance, everything can flow into your experience, you see. So the further out there it is, the more general you are. But let's say you're sitting here in this room. You know that you want to be in the chair. You've already defined that you want to be first in the chair. Now it's time to get specific about it. In other words, now something less general, something more specific, such as I really think it will be fun to be in that chair. I really like the idea of having a dialogue with Abraham. I really like the idea of having a conscious dialogue where we're exchanging communication, where we are getting on the same vibrational wavelength and taking thought beyond that, which it has been before much more specific conversation. For example, when you get into your automobile to drive somewhere, be present, get real specific. I'm going to put my hands on the steering wheel. I'm going to pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm going to enjoy this moment. I'm going to engage consciously with other drivers. I'm going to have a sense of what others are doing on the road. I'm going to be at one with my vehicle. I'm going to have everything in my vicinity, in my awareness, whether I'm using my physical senses, you use your hearing much more in driving than you realize. I'm going to use my physical senses. I'm going to use my eyes and my ears. I'm going to be at one with my vehicle, but I'm going to sense intuitively what other drivers around me are doing. That's a really specific conversation that you're having with yourself. And because you're just about to get into your vehicle, it's good to be really specific. You don't want to be in that general sense. Whatever will be, will be <laughs> things just work out for me. I think I'll take a nap while I drive up to Stanford. If you decide that you're going to give your attention to this grid and that you want it to fill in with something that feels good to you and give it emotional words, I feel appreciation. Or I feel love or I feel enthusiasm and sometimes you don't feel it but as you say it as you establish your determination doesn't that kind of feel good when the chatter stops When you're not trying so hard to talk yourself into it or explain your way into it or out of it or get somebody else to get it or to justify it or defend it or to protest against it, but just feel the grid, feel it, feel it, feel it, reach for an emotion and find it and feel it an emotion like peace. Or an emotion like <laughs> 
appreciation. What does the word love do for you? If you're in the middle of something that makes you feel anger, reaching for this basis, this grid might be harder to do, but even in your small effort at doing it, it will slow down the momentum of whatever's going on. And if you start your day by reaching for it, that really is the power of meditation because in meditation, as you quiet your mind, you are left with that emotional, emotional basis that will serve you extremely well. We think you understand this precisely. Actually, we think we've hit upon an analogy that will serve you really well. And over the next few days, as you are deliberately creating a grid, and then watching it fill in, you're going to begin to feel the power of the grid, the power of your deliberate point of attraction, the power of your alignment with the source within you. You've been listening to us. You come forth from non-physical and before you were in this physical body, you were non-physical and you still are. That's a familiar story if you've been listening to us for a while. And part of you came forth into this physical body where you are exploring and taking consciousness forward, not just your consciousness, but all of us. Your exploration of contrast is causing us all to reach into these new places. And once you know what you don't want, and once you know what you do want, once you set that focus into motion, we all, from our non-physical perspective, go right there to that new place, to that new grid that your desire established. And we hold to the vibrational basis of what you have created because we know it from top to bottom. We know not only the results you think you're asking for or the results that you are asking for, we know the emotional basis of them. In other words, we know the essence of what you're reaching for and we become it and hold our focus steadily on that. So you could say that we are a vibrational, emotional grid that when you reach for the feeling place of it, the influence from us will be mighty. You'll feel it. You'll feel the power and the clarity that comes when you identify something that you desire and that something that you are desiring is an emotional, good feeling, emotional grid. So we're going to be talking about a lot of things today, really anything you want to talk about. And the stance that we are wanting to help you to discover and practice the concept that we want you to acknowledge and understand until it is your knowing is that you have a point of attraction that you have control over and that you control your point of attraction by caring about how you feel and by focusing yourself into alignment with what feels best. Sometimes you want to take action that seems to line things up in a faster way. And of course, action is often inspired. But we want to help you to understand that if you will focus upon your basis of attraction by paying attention to the way you are feeling, that you will understand this concept of deliberate creation. And you will then be that deliberate creative genius who you intended to be as you came forth into this physical body and this magnificently balanced time space reality. You said, I'll go forth and I'll sift and sort and I'll come to my own conclusions. And when I come to a decision about what I think would be better, I will give that my undivided attention. I will no longer justify why I want that by pointing out how bad that is. And as I practice the thought of what I want, it will become such a vibrational habit for me that's all a belief is. A belief is just a vibrational habit. It's a thought you keep thinking. It will become such a vibrational habit for me that as I emanate that vibrational signal, law of attraction will bring things to me that match that. And of course, that makes sense, doesn't it? You sort of get it. You've been mixing it up. You get that what you think about comes to you. It shows up fast enough that it's not a big mystery anymore. You don't call yourself lucky or cursed anymore. You say, ah. When something wonderful would happen to Esther, she would say, I did that. And when something not so wonderful would happen, she would say, I did that too. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. 
But once you get the hang of this, once you begin to make the association between what you're thinking and how you're feeling and what's coming back to you, then you begin to get your sea legs. Then you begin to be a deliberate creator, a conscious deliberate creator. So now we want you to understand that, oh, it is so nice when you begin to recognize that you get what you think about, whether you want it or not, because you activate a vibration, that vibration is powerful. It attracts other things like it. And you begin to notice these patterns. It's easier to notice them in others, isn't it? Especially those you live with. <laughs> so easy to see the things that they're doing that are messing up your life. You see. <laughs> But after a while, you begin to recognize that if you're not giving attention to what you think they're doing that's messing up your life, then it's not in your vibration. It's only by your attention to it. You really don't need to worry about what anybody else is doing unless you're giving attention to what they're doing and using what they're doing and your attention to what they're doing as your excuse to hold yourself out of vibrational frequency with who you really are and what you really want. Isn't that nice to know? Say yes. yes. But we want you to understand something even further that while yes, it is a wonderful thing to understand that law of attraction is responding to the vibrational frequency that you are outputting, that there is a vibrational frequency that you have been outputting for a very long time that comes from the source, from the core, from the inner being of that, which you are. And when you get out of sync with that, you don't feel good. And when you get in sync with that, you feel wonderful. And here is the best part of this whole thing, the best of all. When you acknowledge that that inner being part of you exists and that it is the knower and the holder and the vibrational practicer and beer and emitter of the signal of all that you are, we're calling it your core grid. It's the energy that emanates from the very core of that which you are. When you understand that that signal is emanating, that it's flowing into your moment right here and now, it's not off in some heavenly place waiting for you to croak and catch up with it. It's right here, out here on the leading edge. All that you are is focused out here on the leading edge with you in your powerful now where all that is new is happening. So as this source energy is focused with you out here on the leading edge, and you happen in that moment to be standing in a place of alignment with who you are. Wow, what a good moment you're having. That's when love is radiating through you. That's when you're clear. That's when you're dynamic. That's when you're flexible. That's when you're clear minded. That's when your heart is singing. That's when you feel good. That's when you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on. That's when your jokes are funniest because your timing is exquisite. That's when you look the best and feel the best. That's when you are the best. That's when you're allowing all that you've become to be present right here, right now, having this conversation with whoever you're having this conversation. In other words, to be tuned to who you are and living in your powerful now, that's what you planned. And everything else is just off a tad. We have enjoyed this interaction more than words can explain. And as we just said to our friend, our favorite part of this interaction is feeling you click into place with the knowledge that you were born with but that has expanded since you got here. It's nice to know that you never get it done. That helps when you're standing in the absence of the manifestation of something that you want. But it's also nice to know that you never get it wrong, which makes it all right to stand where you are in the absence of something that you think that you want. And we think that today you've come into a new place of understanding that what you want is for the feeling of it. And you can accomplish the feeling of it as soon as today, if you want to. And once you do that, then the grid must begin filling in. We would like you to see this life experience as a veritable treasure hunt because it is that there isn't anything that you are deprived of ever. Everything that you want is queued up for your realization. But you knew coming in that you wouldn't enjoy it if it got there all at once. And you knew coming in that you wouldn't enjoy it if somebody else told you what it should be. And you knew coming in that it had to be on your terms, that you would be carving it out of the details of your own life experience. And you knew coming in 